Hello and welcome to my very first showcase, Planet Zoo showcase that is, and the Evergreen Wildlife Center. Um, I've been wanting to do this for quite some time. It's always been on my mind, but I've never really went through with it because I, I didn't know whether people would like it. But a comment on Reddit really kind of, it kind of told me like, hey, don't do it for anyone else. Just do it for yourself. And I thought, you know, <laughs> that is that is fantastic because I mean, for some reason, I never really thought about it that way. And I I love looking at zoos. I do this already. I I love to look at other people's zoos because I suck at it. I absolutely I'm I'm terrible. I can make something kind of cool, but I always forget to do anything with terrain. So it's just a flat zoo that like that like the habitats have terrain. Either way, I, I'll get into that later at some other point. But either way, let's get into this one because this is fantastic. I've loved this zoo uh, since I saw it on the uh, steam workshop and the link for the zoo will also be in the bio if you guys want to go look at it and, you know maybe take a little bit more time than i am because i would like to make these videos a little bit shorter than uh some of the other like uh showcase videos you see on youtube i want to make them a little bit shorter so they're just like they don't take as long you know and um obviously if you want to go explore then you can totally go explore i just want to i want to i want to be able to show off these people's zoos just not in 45 minutes to an hour detail, you know, like I just want to, I want to be able to show them off and then that be, that be it. And then you guys can go explore if you want to. Um, but I, I would love to make a community out of this and be able to like do challenges and stuff like that. Cause I do love planet zoo. It is one of my favorite games. I just, I feel like I don't get on it enough cause I don't know how to make a zoo. So I thought I'd use my time and do something else while also being able to play the game and enjoy uh one of my favorite games so uh sorry i just skipped the entrance but this is this entrance it, it just looks uh great i love this entrance because it just it looks nice it's not too complex by any means i mean you just like walk in you got some food seating uh that nice uh mirror no thing over there on that wall and then restrooms and then you have the main entrance and we're gonna go in here because <laughs> I have looked around this zoo a little bit, just a little bit, not too much, and I I love it. It's it's very nice, very well done, and I'd love to look at it a little bit more detail with uh you know with you guys. So uh, when we get out here, I th that we got the bison right in front of us, and then this river looks very nice, very nice. I don't feel. Let's go over here real quick. I don't feel like the bison have a lot of room. You know, for, I don't know, maybe I just don't know bison, but, um, I don't feel like they have that much room, honestly, but, you know, I don't know, what what do I know? Never even made a bison habitat, so I guess I wouldn't know the, the land area they need, but it, I do love this. I love the way this looks. I love the little, um, I'm guessing mud pits. I don't really, gonna be honest, like I said, never really messed with them, but either way, we're gonna, we'll keep moving forward. We have a nice little uh, area with some food, restroom, seating, and we're on here to the pronghorn antelope. These are these are <laughs> I like this. I really like this uh, area because you have the river in the background, and obviously the antelope probably don't want too much terrain. They're antelope, but this viewing area looks fantastic with the way it curves with the uh, with the habitat. Is that what it's called? Habitat? I love these antlers. I love just everything about this. It looks very nice. But if we go out here, we have the river on the backside that connects to the that bridge and that buffalo. And it goes even farther this way down uh, from what I saw before. But I love all of this. And then my favorite part about this is this bridge. For the antelope only. Like You can see this homie. Homie's just, homie's just crossing the bridge back over to you know some water and then their main little uh shelter and it's very very cool very cool and i love that idea because it just it's just it seems unique to me for some reason even though like i don't know what do, what do i know right let's keep going so up here we have the timber wolves and uh there is more viewing but this is the viewing on this side of the park 
and the viewing is it's right here like it's just it's just into the cave into their little cave and yes you can see it goes out and there's more to it but this little cave is just cool i love this idea because i would never i would never think of this this is beyond me cooler than me but we'll continue on because i don't want to take up your time i want you guys to explore this place if you guys want to so we'll keep going and then we have so this is a this is a part that you know i wish was in planet zoo but it's not are we is there information center um and it's it's like smaller animals i wish smaller animals were in this game but they're not so people make do and they make these little these little blocky blocky ducks and other animals and you'll see it more when i go out there and i'm pretty sure there's birds but i love the detail that's still put into this because you know even though it's not in the game it is still it's still cared for it's still it's still like made known that it's here rather than just having it tacked on right so i do love this and i i mean i think it's fantastic we'll continue out here to some more birds or another bird here we have the bald eagle yes it is block i get it but like i mean the fa the care of putting like the airlock there and you know the trees and the you know all of that stuff. I I still love that. I I think it's very well done and I appreciate the effort. And here we're just gonna kind of sit here for a minute because this is something that I think is completely unnecessary, <laughs> but I absolutely love. Like this is like having this. Does it need to be here? No, not at all. Do we need a little boat dock and a little island? No, not at all. But it adds to it. It adds a lot of character that I think wouldn't be here otherwise if it was just like another animal or something. And I don't know. I love the effort that was put into like the trees and the rocks and just making it feel like a lake that is here or like, uh, you know, is it, is it just an oversized pond? I don't know. Either way, it doesn't matter. We're going to keep going though. So if we go over here, we have a waterfall. And then, mind you, that this is the same exact river that uh, went through the bison and the antelope. So that I think that is really cool. And it adds, I think, just a little bit to it that wouldn't be there otherwise. But down here, if we keep going, we got a boat rental. Now, like I said, does it make sense? No. But is it cool? Yes. It's fantastic, and I think it's one of the coolest things um, that you could add. You know, adding stuff that isn't in the game, but almost, you know, forcing it into the game. Um, but, yeah, we'll keep going. We'll see a little bit more of the lake over here. Here's a lodge, and we got some food in here. I love the way this was designed. It's very simple, but it works. It's simple, but it, like, just really, really works. It works, and it looks good, and then there's a little seating area where you can eat right here overlooking the same exact lake obviously and just has a really it has a really nice feel to it and i i wouldn't i wouldn't want it any other way i love the uh space management that they they implemented with this zoo it just looks really good but here i think so i do not have the mod so these river otters are actually just like giant otters so i'm sorry but it's just the way it is. Now, this habitat is fantastic. Like, the entrance to the way it looks is just everything is just phenomenal. It looks great, and it just it just fits. It fits it. Here we got some otters, giant otters, not river otters, my bad. Going through. And then we have these little turtle habitats. We can see a little, little turtle homie right there. And then I think these are also turtles. Yeah, there's more turtles. We like turtles. Turtles are cool. And I guess we'll keep going. But I, I would say that in terms of architecture, definitely my favorite. I love the way this looks and how just it, it really just fits it. It just works really well. Either way, we'll keep going, though. So if we come up here, we're coming on the back side of the black bear. Or not the black bear. It's just the grizzly bear, right? I, uh, it's, a, it's a bear of some sort. It's a brown bear. I don't know. This is probably my least favorite part about the zoo. 
I wish this was a little bit more elevated. I wish they would have elevated this to maybe be like up to this view so where you can like, or even, you know, maybe that's too high, but up to a point where we can more see into the, the habitat because there isn't a lot of viewing for these bears other than over there, which we will get to in a minute. But I think it's very cool. I just wish it was a little bit different, but we'll continue on. Here we have a little playground. I love this same way as I like the boat rentals. It's just, did it need to be here? No, <laughs> but it is really cool. And it, and like, I love the way it looks. It looks really good. I love the benches and the seating and then the little cave with a wolf statue. It just looks great. It looks fantastic. But here we have the other side of the wolves. You can see the cave is back there. But we have the other side with uh, a lot of room. I think the wolves have a little... Not too much room, but they have quite a bit of room and a lot of viewing, um, which is very cool. But we can keep going. We'll see more viewing here. And then here we have the actual grizzly bear, um, like viewing center, I guess. You go up here. I love the way this looks. It looks great. We have restrooms. We have coffee. We have information. We have a how do you measure up, which you always see at a zoo. You always see that at a zoo. But... Either way, this viewing area is very cool. It it just it looks great. It it really shows off the whole habitat. It really shows off just like where they are. And I love the waterfall. I love the little river. And I just like homies swimming. Homies swimming. But either way, this is a very cool habitat. Very good use of terrain. I just it is a little empty in some places, but I love the cave. I love the water. I love everything they have. Oh, we even have a a bear swimming right in front of the viewing area. How nice is that? Uh, anyway, though, we'll keep going. Don't want to make this too long. But here we have that, and then we'll go over here. And this is the other timber wolves. A lot of viewing for the timber wolves. Very popular animal, I guess, because I don't feel like any other animal has gotten this much viewing. But yeah, so very nice, very nice. I love this. I mean, I'm honestly, I think I've been saying that too much, but I do really, really like this park. Here we have the reindeer, and then I think that's just from restrooms. The reindeer, and one thing I love about the reindeer habitat is, other than obviously their shelter over to the left, it feels kind of natural. Like I don't know why, I don't know how they did it, but with the terrain and the way it looks, it like almost like. It looks like just like they're out in the wild and it's kind of weird to me, but it's very cool. And it looks really nice with the broken branches or the fallen branches and stuff like that. And then also connected is the same river that <laughs> is connected all the way to that lake and stuff like that. Very nice. Um, I really enjoy that though. And I think behind us we have the doll sheep and while being kind of plain, I think it is a very good use of rocks and terrain. And we have another viewing area up there, as you can see. We have a little pond with a waterfall. But a very nice use of terrain and rocks and just doing exactly, you know. I think that's exactly what they needed and what they probably wanted. But we also have a little viewing area of their shelter right here. Which seems a little small in my opinion for how many there are. But... I didn't make it, so, and I don't make zoos, so uh, take what I say with a grain of salt. But I love just the way this looks. It's just a little plain. But we'll continue, and we have a nature trail right here that goes up to that same viewing area that you just saw. And we'll go up there real quick. But this is very nice. Now, I kind of wish the bridge wasn't like a metal-looking bridge. I wish it was like more of like a... Like a, like a wood bridge, like something that looks like you'd see on a nature trail, like something you'd see maybe just on a regular trail, like through the mountains or whatever. But, you know, I still think it fits, and I love the waterfall behind it. But here we have the barn. Oh, I think I'm... All right, so caught up looking at a bridge. I learned the short here, short-eared owl that, you know, looks very cool. I love the cage. I love, even though it is a blocky thing doesn't matter it's still cool and then we have the barn owl obviously the same very cool though i love the way this looks i love just it, it was a very nice addition that i think it could have done without but i think it really adds a little bit 
and it shows kind of the care that the creator put into it. Here we have the other viewing area for the sheep. There is a lot of these sheep. I don't know how they're all fitting in that shelter. Maybe they they take shifts. I don't know. Um, but I like it. I really do. This is a very nice, uh, very nice um, habitat, and it really fits them well. But we'll continue on our nature trail. We'll go over our little bridge. Very nice waterfall. I think there is a little lake up here. Yeah, a little lake. Maybe eh, it was probably not meant to be seen, so we'll just fly away from that real quick. Here we have the, uh, I think it's a snow owl. Very cool, very cool snow owl. I like their little, I like how the, all the cages have kind of been different in a way. But we're going to go over here, and I think we're coming up as well as the bear one on the back side of the seal one, right? Yep, the seals. We have the, the gray seals, I would say. And they look very cool. I like this habitat. Very small, though. Very small, and I feel like probably could have hid the shelter a little bit better. But what do I know? Um, but we're going to continue on. We'll go down our nature trail rather than just head down to the, the habitat. Make it seem more like we're walking through the nature trail. And then we have the main gray seal uh show off like what i don't what like main viewing area what am i talking about very nice uh they must have heard that i was recording because they're actually here half the time nothing underwater ever wants to be there when i'm recording so that's cool that's cool very nice we have another little uh seating area with uh some food and restrooms We'll keep going though. I think I'll actually never mind. I think that's the end of our our uh, our little tour, our little showcase. But we're gonna look at this gift shop because this gift shop looks uh fantastic. It is it is small, but you know it gets the job done of having you know like little bottles and little whatever that is and other bottles and statues. I guess if you want a little dog statue little mask things i don't know this is very cool though i love it Ra rather than it being just a stall i think this really fits the fits the idea very well uh all right well i i'll get i want to i want to give you guys like a head like a like a bird's eye view sorry a bird's eye view of this because one of the things i love about this is the fact that you really can't see where everything is instantly like you can't you can't just tell where each habitat is it's very hard to tell. Yeah, you got the lake over. You got the lake over there. And then you have like the antelope and the bison and obviously the seals cuz they're giant pool. But the wolves are kind of hard to spot. The bears are kind of hard to spot. And obviously you can see the sheep, but I don't know. I I think this is the use of trees was very well done and uh I really like that. I love that about it. It's just really cool that it's kind of hard like i don't even know where the otters are anyway if you guys made it this far uh thank you for watching um there will be more in the future this will not be the only one i hope not and uh if you guys have any suggestions on stuff i could maybe do better i would love to know i would love to know what i could do better because i know this isn't perfect and uh, obviously no one's perfect on their first try, but um, I do want to make as good of content as I can. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. And, uh, you know, that's I mean, that's basically all for now. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.